decided yes. I like you, Jenny. And you know what, I think I'm sticking to my story. Yeah, I like Colleen too. World trip. It can happen. If I want to. And I don't think there are going to be any other things which I think are more important than that. Maybe. It's something I gotta do. I gotta do it. You know, even if something more important comes up, I'll tell them, I'm sorry, but I'll be back. And if you really are that important, you'll still be here in a year. Is it possible for me to avoid food poisoning the entire time? I think so. Sometimes people say, Hey, roll the camera back a little bit more, please. Such noobs. This is their first video they've watched from me. I like the video real close up. I need more hard drive space. I need a better camera. I need a better computer. I need a better piano. I need too many things. But the things are what make life rich and for me insanely enough making life rich is mostly comprised of copying it the thing i most value or at least one of them is being able to record your life and watch it again In a way, that means you're rejecting existence at its current state, and you're relapsing into a previous time. And really, that's just subjective discovery, that's subjective happiness. It's like being high and just thinking everything is just being filled with a sense of discovery constantly and and finding new purposes and and having this sense of happiness when really it's just subjective happiness it's not tied to reality i'm contrasting this with objective happiness objective discovery objective purpose which is tied to reality So really, by going over, by watching over my conversations with Colleen, is that just, is that, that, isn't that rejecting reality in its current state? But then, but, but then by the same logic, you'd have to say, watching, no. So that means then, I'm not rejecting reality in its current state, I'm just choosing another reality something like that because I was thinking okay so if watching a recorded video of earlier time no that doesn't make sense I was gonna say if watching a video recorded of an earlier time means you're rejecting reality in its current state and all of the possibilities which are in front of you you're deciding just to sit here and do something you've already done mentally like like feel like you're relearning something you've already learned isn't that the same thing as going to ted.com and watching a video of an earlier time aren't you rejecting all the possibilities of and so i thought that uh how do i say this that just by making that choice you aren't anytime you make a choice you're obviously rejecting all of the other possibilities so you can't say just because you made a choice it's bad because you're rejecting the rest of your life it's simply the fact that you had to make a choice and you chose to make a choice and making cho choices is saying yes to existence breathing life into your machine it's doing something
but it still remains that if I'm choosing to have a feeling which I've already had that's already done but I'm also confident I can learn something from anything whatever I'm doing even if it looks like I'm doing nothing I'm learning a lot of stuff so like when I watch the conversations over soon enough and it seems cre it could seem creepy to some people but it doesn't to me soon enough I can uh, quote the conversation in its entirety if it was that good if I want to watch it over and over again soon enough I'd be able to quote you and be able to quote me you won't even realize it because you've only had the conversation once whereas I've had it 30 times Then again, isn't it spicing up your life when you aren't doing anything? When you already decided, okay, I'm too tired to do something. Instead of where you would normally just lay down and be passive, you could re-experience your favorite parts of life. And they're your favorite for a reason. It's not just because... It's not like some kind of random swerving you liked an experience because it was valuable to you why was it valuable if you're like me you have reasons for valuing things not the other way around i wish i had chocolate ice cream Well, here I am in that passive state, and it was really interesting to re-experience that video because I was I was a sufficiently different person from that time, which was three weeks ago, that I did not know what I was going to say, and I, I, my mind was also weaker because I was about to go to sleep, so I wasn't expecting it me to say the next thing and that mind was moving much more quickly and with much more clarity than this one so I learned I taught myself my past self taught my future self and that's something I've always that's a, that's a concept I've always thought was really interesting what would you say if you could make a time capsule from your current self to your future self and secondly what would your future self teach you what would your better you teach your current you by working out these exercises if you succeed I believe you can exponentially grow yourself.